Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we're going to take a look at some coins with buffaloes on them. Well, these, we'll start off with these, but there might be another buffalo in the mix. But this is our Jefferson Nickel, and uh, that's the 05 Bison. No spear. And then this is the Buffalo Nickel, of course, or the Indian Head Nickel. And mm, there's a date there somewhere, but anyway, that's not the point. Today's presentation is really about a commemorative coin set. And this is uh, a coin set that was released uh, for the opening of the National Museum of the American Indian at the Smithsonian Institution. And this was in June of 2001. And so these were available from the Mint, and they had a, well, let me, let me show you the coins instead of just telling you about them. This is how they arrived, and actually it's kind of a little bit of glare here, so let's do this. Here. Make it a little bit easier on ourselves, and we get more light this way. So one was a proof, and one was an uncirculated, and that's the proof. Look at that. That's some beautiful cameo. And so these, again, are 2001. And this one is a 2001 P. And the mint mark is on the reverse. And uh, this is kind of based on the original design of the Buffalo Nickel by James Earl Frazier. And those coins were released in 1913. And this is a throwback to those on the raised ground. Um, if you know your history about Buffalo Nickels, the first year that they released them in 1913, uh, they had this raised ground uh, deal. And they thought it might wear out too quickly, so they changed the design. And so that's one of the neat features of the Buffalo Nickel, and actually a way that you can date the coins. Even if you can't read the date on Buffalo Nickel sometimes, if you can see the raised ground, you know it's a 1913. So anyway, that's another another story. But anyway, this is brilliant. Uh, I love it. So such a cool coin. So they had a limit of 500,000 of these coins. This is the uh, uncirculated or the non-proof one. It's got a little bit of corrosion going on already but uh, and this was Denver minted and just a little lower on the quality in comparison but still both beautiful coins there was a mintage limit of 500,000 for all versions of these coins uh, this particular one I think there was around 272,000 and this one about 227,000 unless I have that reversed, but uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. And so these are pretty collectible. Uh, these sold out in like three weeks. I think they came out on June 7th, and by June 21st, they were sold out in 2001 from the Mint. So, very cool commemorative set uh, from 2001. These are 0.9 uh, per uh, silver, and uh, very cool coins to have. So... Thank you for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. Oh, and if you have not already, please subscribe. Hit that like button and leave me some comments. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye. Oh, and P.S. I forgot to mention uh, what I wanted to tell you guys. This design is based on a bison that was in the New York uh, Central Park Zoo called Black Diamond. So I thought it was quite interesting that uh, the Wild West is depicted from a bison that was in the zoo. So anyway, another little coin factoid for you. All right, for real this time. Bye-bye.